Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I built the massive concrete lamp that I entered in the One Bag Wonder Challenge that was sponsored by Quickrete. So let's get to it. Some of the cues that I really like of mid century modern furniture is that. It carries over the streamlining of earlier in the century, but it also is supposed to look like it's from the future. So that makes it just extra cool. Concrete is a very natural material and so is wood. So I really wanted to combine concrete and wood together as two natural products to see what I could come up with. All right, well, here we go. I'll show you how I built it. When I take on a design project like this, I got to get my head around it. So you can see here, I did a bunch of sketches and some of them aren't even lamps, they're just shapes. I've studied mid-century modern furniture for over 25 years, especially lamps. I really like lighting design. Here I'm checking to be sure I can cut this out of a 2x6. If you haven't noticed already, this lamp is going to be a triangle. So I only needed to design one leg, and once I got that figured out, then I could just duplicate it twice and get all three. This two inch thick insulation foam is what I have left over from a previous project. I reversed my solid model so that I could create a cavity for my cam machine operations. Once the foam blocks were surfaced down to the right thickness, I began to carve out the cavities. Yep, that's a four inch long end mill. Hmm, a fork truck for one bag of quick read. Whatever. I had my son Tyler help me get the quick read into the mold. Because I wanted to go for a natural look, I took the quickrete out of the molds after about 18 hours, so it wasn't fully cured. I was able to scrub the surface down and reveal the little stones in there. It turned out really nice. I had one really nice 10 foot cedar 2x6 left over from the deck construction a few years ago. So I cut that up to use as the legs of this lamp. This might look like a piece of typical construction lumber, but wait until you see the beautiful grain that's inside.
Because these are two-sided parts, I used dowels as registration pins so that I could just flip the part over and it would be lined up. I found a few more random scraps of cedar trim. They were all different sizes and all different thicknesses. Once I planed them down to the proper thicknesses, they really looked nice. The stock that I needed for the divider that goes between the top and the bottom concrete slabs turned out to be kind of a complex glue up. Here again I used dowels as registration pins because this is another two sided part. Although it didn't show it, the lampshade frame was designed in CAD and cut on the CNC. These bamboo skewers worked really well as supports for the top of the lampshade. The three wooden legs have a hook incorporated into them. It's kind of hidden underneath, but it holds them into the concrete block. This little triangle piece holds the three legs together but also serves as a mount for the lampshade. The three lampshade panels are just some heavy paper stack that I had. They fit into the grooves around the perimeter of the frame. I'm very pleased with the way this turned out.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that build as much as I did. There's more information in the description down below and some links down there to my other socials if you want to follow me there. If you want to see some of my other videos, there's some links for those. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would appreciate it. There's a link for that over there. And if you really like this video, give me a thumbs up on it because that would be extra cool. And when you subscribe, don't forget to push the little bell button. Uh, that will give you notifications when my new videos come out. So thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.